Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hello, and welcome back. It's Tim Friend time once again, just as it is every day, except when I forget or have a bad day and don't upload an episode. Yes, that's real. Yes, it has happened. Yes, it happened last Tuesday uh, when I totally forgot to upload an episode because I was having a bad day, and then I continued to have a bad day, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not even going to upload one today. I'll just double upload tomorrow. <sighs> But that's, I mean, even if I'm having a bad day, if I'm fucking, uh, if I, what, what am I trying to say? If I'm just behind schedule, then I will fail to upload episodes, and uh, that, that one's on me. So it's not just, oh, I had a bad day, it's also, uh, I'm lazy and dumb, and, uh, there's not a lot I can do, I mean, there is stuff I can do about it, but, but I'm lazy and dumb, so. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> fuck! From off screen? Brutalized. Okay. All right. <laughs> Didn't like that. Uh, let's do a little, a little jump and a little bounce. Let's get rid of this, this, this little home dog. Uh, let's power shell. Power shell is Koops's uh, first uh, FP attack. It hits all targets uh, with his his base damage. All ground based targets. Which is pretty fucking good. Uh, it lets, uh, lets you get at dull bones and shit that are behind the scenes. Uh, the problem is it's a little bit FP hungry, uh, especially for an, a BP only run. Uh, only using more than half of our FP when it's fucking unbuffed can be pretty rough. Uh, but, I mean, fucking maybe once we get our, our shit on lock, maybe it'll be even better. Another happy heart. Hell yeah. And that does stack. So, yeah, there are some badges that you can get just from from enemy drops. And that's wild. It's it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of fucking... I don't think there's any other things that will need power smash. Ooh, uh, we'll, we'll keep the power smash. We'll get rid of multi-bounce. There's... It, it'll be very rare that multi-bounce is useful for us right now. Uh... The best case scenario would be multiple regular Koopas, but uh, we we tend to see more variety in here. And uh, if there's multiple regular Koopas, it's possible that we'll get like a fucking dry bones in there that'll be useless against or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm I'm not the biggest fan of multi bounce. I'm a much bigger fan of, of power bounce or just using power shell because it'll do more damage uh, and it's a much easier action command to hit. I'm so dumb. I should have jumped on the Koopa Troopa. Instead, I hammered the dull bones away, uh, and that makes a dull boy. I'm here to tell you. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's jump on this Koopa Troopa, uh, kill it with Koops. Uh, then next turn, uh, we'll sweet treat. I think. Uh, ooh, dang. Okay, yeah, we we do want a sweet treat, uh, but I do want to jump on him first. So we can get the stun off. So we won't take the damage after we sweet treat. We'll swap partners to Goombella in case it gets back up. Uh, get the HP back. Use the sweet treat. We need one, one, and three. One HP each and three FP. We'll get that. Okay, now we just need flowers. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, uh, I believe there's only three, only two poison mushrooms, so... You now we can just fucking spam. We're already way past our goal, but it's fun to it's fun to just go pow 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 pow. Uh, I have no control over the reticle for that, by the way. It just go up and down at that speed all the time. And ain't nothing we can do about it. But we deal with it. We we get the stuff anyway. Okay, now we're back to full. We've got our FP back. We've got our HPs back. We even healed up Goombella, uh, who is sitting at a shameful one below maximum. Shameful, shameful, I say. Yes, it's truly disgusting, but we, we recovered, and then we get a bunch of fucking extra flowers and hearts from that fight anyway, making it totally worthless. Oop. Uh, we use Koops, and we will set him up to hit that switch. Go stand on the block. Remember that puzzle? It's the same puzzle. It's, it's a cute little puzzle, but it's the same puzzle. And we get a little... There's, there's just slight bits of what could only be called platforming. <laughs> in Paper Mario. And I mean, it's like, yeah, fucking, it's a Mario game. Of course there's platforming. But just like a little bit of precision-based movement uh, here, where it's just, don't 
Don't fuck it up, Tim. Oh my god, I almost fucked it up. Don't let your thumb slip around on the ding dang control stick, because uh, you're definitely using a GameCube one that has the notches and not just like like a regular fucking USB ass controller. That would be that would be illegal. So you're not doing that. Uh, <laughs> any but, uh, but yeah, there's occasionally precision based action slash platforming, as it is sometimes called. Uh, now we can grab that key. Uh, we can get a fucking uh, get a call from Julia Friend that we'll respond to after we finish recording this episode. Get Last Stand P, uh, which we shouldn't have gotten. I should have waited, uh, but it's just it's treasure, man. It's irresistible. Now we gotta go through this whole dang part of the castle again. At least there might not be enemies in some parts of it. I can't remember what reloads, what respawns enemies. Uh, looks like we're clear. Here, at least. Uh, dump that. Get Coop set up. Release. Now we're back up here. Go to the right. Uh, then we do the, I believe, the fucking uh, platforming, quote-unquote, section again. Is that true? Yeah, it's, it, is, it is true. I can see that, that paper airplane platform up there. Bonk with the hammer. Set up the Coops. Run up the stairs. Incredible strats. See here, guys, you want to fucking miss the block. Instead of jumping onto it, it's much faster to just miss it and then be forced to run up the little bit of stairs again. So I'm a fool. I'm a doof and a fool. That wasn't so bad. It was only, like, three screens. Three extra screens. On a show that's fucking ten minutes. Okay, yeah, it was a waste of time. But whatever. I'm Tim Friend, baby. I do what I want. And I do it inefficiently. <laughs> that's right, mother effer. Okay. Keep your eye on the bottom left, I think. Nope, I guess not. Maybe that's maybe that's up higher. We'll get a little bit of little bit of bit of shine sprite. Use this castle key. How are we where are we at now? Is this Yeah, this is this is the end. This is the end of Hooktail Castle. Or it's not quite the end, but it's close. Uh that means I've missed some stuff. <laughs> uh I believe. So yeah, we'll we'll go back. I I mean it's not the end. There's still like a save block out back there. And like a fucking uh, a heart block as well. It's very polite. This game is very polite about letting you like uh, uh, essentially get back to full HP uh, before fighting the boss. Very polite. I, I did miss stuff. Let me let me check the ding dang. Check the ding dang wiki. High ed ledge. That's the bullet with a purple block near the flippable stairs. Okay, so we missed that one. Uh, we got that one. Oh, we didn't miss one. I'm just I'm just a silly goose then I guess. Okay, so we we did miss one at the very beginning, so we're gonna go run on back, waste just so much time, so much time wasted. I'm just such a professional gamer, you guys. Can you believe how much of a jamer I am? It's incredible. So much James have been played. It's unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, we we go back here. We use we're gonna have Coops get set up to hit the purple thing. And we go stand on the purple thing. You know, the puzzle that we've done like three times now. And then, hup. What do we get? We get a little secret door. We jump through it, because I don't want to fall. It's embarrassing. Now we get a star piece. So now what's going to happen is uh, you're going to get to listen to me vamp a little bit. Uh, while we go all the ding-dang way back to Rogueport. Uh, and it's mostly because I'm afraid. <laughs> like, I'll be, I'll be real. I am I'm afraid of this, of this boss battle. Uh, at having 10 HP and only 5 FP. So I kind of want to get, uh, I want to try to get the, my little FP farm going. I want to try to, I want to see if FP drain and flower saver, uh, works in the way that I hope it does with power smash or power jump. Uh, and, uh, I have two shine sprites. I believe I can get one more. Uh, let's, let's, let's check that actually. Whoop. Uh, we got three Shine Sprites, so that means we can also upgrade a partner, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't think that's time-gated. I think it's just gated behind having three Shine Sprites. Uh, so upgrading a partner, you need three Shine Sprites to upgrade a partner. I know, shocking. It's, you may have, uh, the, the more clever among you may have deduced that from the way I'm talking about three Shine Sprites and upgrading partners. But, uh, that gives them more HP, it increases their base attack value, uh, and gives them a new ability. Uh, so in the case of Goombella, it gives her multi-bonk, 
And in the case of Koops, it gives him uh, something like shell protecto, protecto shell, something like that, where it lets him put a little little defensive shell on Mario that lets him absorb, it absorbs an amount of damage before breaking. So it's like temporary hit points. It's cute. It's a little utility. I like it. I like it very much. I'm thinking about doing it, uh, just for that, that extra HPs, uh, but, uh, we'll, we'll see. All right. Uh, ooh, to get at it, we need to go through here. We need to go through this man. So let's, let's go get this, this shine sprite first. Uh, Hello. Welcome to the house of Merlin. You foresaw our arrival. All right, so we're gonna go ever so slightly along. Uh, shell shield, that's what it's called. Yes, power of coops. So we get to see this incredible animations. I love it. Shazubi shazubi. And then you just fucking trip balls for a little bit in his strange hexagonal house. His hexagonal interior on his square exterior house. He truly is a magician. Oh, because he's got a hexagonal carpet. I guess he just gets rid of the floor as well. This is an Animal Crossing ass house. It's cute. I like it. All right. Next time on Tim Friend, uh, we'll I'll have gotten a badge from Dazzle, and then uh, maybe we'll come back and beat this guy, and then we'll run over to Hookdale Castle again. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>